Okay, getting my screen set up here. Okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Okay, Lolly, yes, thank you so much. I see a yes from Lolly. How are you doing, Lolly? Yay, the green team is in the house. All right, all right. Ava's here. Hello, Ava. Tomas, hello, Tomas. Of course, Lolly's here. Yes, and Sebu is here. All right, all right, all right. Tomas, yes, and let's see. I also, let me go back. I saw... Leonardo, yes, Leonardo, hello, okay, welcome, welcome everyone, good to see Leonardo, good, 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 all right, how is everyone doing, I'm doing good, I hope you're doing good too, Le Lua, hello, Lua, Radu, hello, Radu, Ariel, hello, Ariel, Helga, how you doing, Helga, Kayleen, hello, Kayleen, all right, FN is here. Okay, good, 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 good. Hannah is here. All right, I'm really happy to see you all here with me. I'm happy that you are here to spend two hours with me. Yes, we will be here for two hours. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are relaxed. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. And of course, with the chat. Yes, with the chat. Jesus, hello, Hernandez, how you doing? Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, before we start, we always have a toast for good luck, so let's do that, shall we? All right, so pick up your beverage. My beverage, of course, is coffee. Yes, hot coffee. I always drink hot coffee. Now, um, we will have two toasts, yes. Our first toast is to the green team, yes. The members, they join the channel, they support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you, green team. Cheers. Yes, if you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah, all right, now. Our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Yes, cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we, have a to because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, bottoms up. Mmm. The best of the best coffee. Yes, this is Colombian coffee. I'm drinking Colombian coffee. Yes, right, dude. I have the Old Faithful here, the mustard shirt, the Old Faithful mustard colored shirt. <laughs> thank you, Radu. Thank you for noticing. Yes. All right. All right. Well, um, bottoms up, Seiru. Yes, bottoms up. Choo. Okay. Um, here is today's lesson plan. So let's let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? All right. So our first activity will be form a sentence, and that's actually a review from Tuesday. We did that on Tuesday, so we will review it today. Then after that, we will do which one doesn't belong. I will give you four items. You tell me which one doesn't belong and why. Then we will do problem solution. I will give you a problem and you give me a solution. Then we will do a conversation from my book right here. And then we will do the green team, the members only dictation cards. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and start. We are going to be busy today. We have lots of things to do. And like I said, we'll be here for two hours. So I hope you can spend those two hours here with us, yeah, everyone here. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's do 
form a sentence. Let's form a sentence. And th this is from, this is a review from Tuesday. Form a sentence. Okay, so we have four cards. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And because four cards, I need four magnets. So right over here. One, two, three, four. I got four magnets here. And they're, of course, they are colorful magnets. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right, so we have we have a purple one right here. There's a purple one, and that'll be number four. Then we have a blue one, yeah. Okay, this is three. Then we have a turquoise, a blue-green one, a turquoise one. <clears throat> That's two, and then we have kind of a green, or we might say emerald green. All right, so there's one, two, three, four magnets, and... I need to get the cards, and the cards are right here. We got one, two, three, four. I'm going to, of course, this review, so I'm sure you guys remember. If it's your first time, that's okay. If you didn't, that's right. If you didn't come on Tuesday, this will be new to you. But if you were here, if you were here on Tuesday, this is a review. Okay, so I'm going to show you a card, and you will see a picture. Now that picture represents a part of a sentence a phrase or a preposition or a noun, all right, so, um, or a verb, right, so the picture represents part of the sentence, okay, so here we go, here is the first card, and what does this picture represent, do you remember? Yes, Vilmar. So I've been watching the Olympics every night. It's very exciting. Um, I've been enjoying the Olympics, Vilmar. So for me, like they're in Japan, so it's easy for me to watch the Olympics because I'm here in Japan, so we're on the same schedule. But you're in Brazil, so your schedule is a little different. Well, 12 hours difference, but still not bad for Brazil. Okay, yeah. Good, everyone. You remember, there is, there is. Yeah, so there is. So that's something, there is, it tells us that something exists, right? It, 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 it's there. <laughs> it, we can see it. We can touch it. It exists, right? It's not a concept, right? A concept is an idea. It's not a concept. It, it's something that is there. It exists, we can see it, we can touch it. All right, so there is, there is. Okay, so that is part one. Ha <laughs> ha, Vilmar, that's very clever. So v Vilmar says, hello to all you half athletes. So, or we could say, we are, what's another way we can say that? We are, um, Couch athletes. You know, like a couch potato is someone who, who sits on the sofa or, or couch, eats potato chips, and watches TV. Oh, you're a couch potato. So um, maybe Vilmar saying half athlete where we're not really trained very hard. We're not very skillful in, in a sport, but we enjoy watching sports and actually you know maybe you you play sports yourself but you are not on the olympic level you are not an olympic athlete no nope. so we are half athletes very good um Vilmar. i like that or armchair athlete how about that we are armchair athletes right so we sit on our armchair put we sit on a chair put our arms on the armrest and watch yeah so we're arm Armrest athletes. Okay, okay. Umesh, Japan's doing really good this year. I think, I think Japan is number three in the medals. One is the states, total medals, right? I think J China is number one in gold. But if we're talking, you know, all the medals, gold, silver, bronze, I think the most has been one by America, number two is China, and I think Japan is number three. 
Okay, so let's get, let's continue here. So we have there is. So we're going to form a sentence. And so now let's go to our second card, which we're building up to make a sentence. Okay, so here is card number two. I'm going to show you a picture and I want you to um, Tell me what this picture represents. Do you remember from Tuesday? What does this represent? And it's not, it's not a very good picture of what I have. What I want to represent, it's not, it's not so good. Yeah, okay, good. So Lolly remembers. Thank you, Lolly. Okay. Vilmar, you have um you have a good like gymnast, right? The the Brazilian gymnast, she's really good. I think you have a few good swimmers, skateboarders. I've seen I've seen I've seen Brazil compete a lot during this Olympics. Okay, so I'm saying this is a thing. It's a thing. So a thing could represent anything. <laughs> Okay, so it exists. So a thing exists, right? So we can say this mug exists, right? Because I'm touching it and we can see it. It's orange with a black top, right? So this is a thing. It exists, right? So we can say there is a tumbler in my hand, right? A thing. There is a tumbler, right? There is, this exists. There is a tumbler. There is a tumbler, right? There is a pencil, okay? There is a pencil. Yeah, so Anna, this is this is a bad picture. Because <laughs> this is more like an idea, right? So this picture, um, Anna, represents an idea, right? Oh, I have a good idea. Let's go swimming, right? Oh, I have a good idea. So this is more for like action. So uh, I'm sorry. So it's this was a bad choice of pictures for, to represent a thing. So sorry about that. It's this is a bad picture to represent a thing. It should be right. It should be a mug or something, right? Oh, it's a thing. This is a thing. It's a mug. Uh, there is a mug, right? There is a mug. There is an eraser. Yes. There is a pen. So, but you have the idea. You guys have the idea. Okay, now let's go to picture number three. And this is our third picture. What does this represent? Now we're building a sentence, remember. We're building a sentence. Okay, what does this card represent? Now this is, this is um, a good picture, I think. Okay, good. Yes, Helga. Preposition is a place, right? So we have in, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. So these are prepositions. So they, prepositions of place, represent a position, okay? Uh, so a location, perhaps, okay? So... A location. So where is it? It's in. Where is it? It's on. Where is it? It's under. Where is it? It's by. One more time. Where is it? It's in. Where is it? It's on. Where is it? It's under. Where is it? It's by. Okay, so now we, we're building our sentence. So there is a thing in. There is a thing on. There is a thing under. There is a thing by. Okay, so we're building our sentence. So we have one more card, and here it is. And what does this picture represent? What does this picture represent?
What? Okay, good, good, Lolly. Place, Helga, place. Yeah, okay, so place. So now we have, now we have a pattern to make a sentence. Yeah, so this is our pattern. There is a thing, preposition place. So for example, we can say, there is, okay, because this is, it exists, right? We can see it. It's over there. <laughs> okay, there is, okay, let's just say a cup. Let's, I'm going to just make it simple here. We've got a cup here. So I'm going to say, there is a cup. That's my thing. Okay, now, location. Where is the location of my cup? Okay, I'm going to say, the location is in my head. <laughs> okay. okay, no, no, okay. Um, no, I'm going to do better. Okay, place. Okay, so I'm going to say, I have a table right here. So m my equipment is on a table. So there's a table. You can't see the table, but it exists. I can see it. You can't see it, but I can see it. So it exists. There is. So the position is on. So there is a cup on, and then the place is my desk, my place. So my desk is the place. There is a cup on my, or actually it's more, it's a table. I should say table, not, not, not a desk, because a desk has, has drawers, right, and has drawers, but this has no drawers. It's just, it just has four legs, and a flat surface. So it's just a table. There is a cup on my table. Okay, so that's my sentence. So here is the cup. It exists. I can see it. I can touch it. There is. And the thing, this is a thing. It's a noun. It's a cup. And the position is on. And then the place my table. So there is a cup on my table. That is my sentence. I want to see your sentences. I want to see your sentences. Okay, Tomas says, there is a chair at the table. Okay, well, Tomas, let's use these prepositions. Okay, let's, let's use these prepositions, shall we? in, on, under, by. Okay, so let's, let's use these. So I'm going to just go ahead and write them on the board. So we have, we have on, we have in. These are our prepositions we're going to use today to practice. Under and by. Okay, so those are our prepositions we're going to use in the sentence. Ava, um, okay, now there is for singular, these are, this is singular, one, one, one thing, singular noun, or singular noun. So there is, we use there is for singular noun, there are is for plural, okay? But today we are using there is. So, so here you can see a cup, right? It's singular. So there is a cup. So Ava, you used sunglasses, I think, and those are plural. Let me go back. Yeah, you said sunglasses. So we, we can't use there is for sunglasses. Okay, Helga, there is a huge screen in the central square of our city. Oh, interesting. So everyone can go there and watch a movie or maybe an event. That's nice. That gives, like that gives a purpose for the community to come together, right? The town square. So that, that's, that's great. Umesh, there is a yellow shirt on Mark's body. <laughs> yes, it's on my body. That is true, Umesh. Uh, Sewu says, there is an air conditioning in my room. It's busy, busy. Um, there is an 
an air conditioner. Okay, so seiwu, there is an air conditioner. So we want a noun, or we, the air conditioner. Eva, there is, oh, there is a phone next to the TV. Okay, your phone, there is your phone next to the TV. Okay. Hello, Gosh. Yes, there is a yellow shirt on Mark. Yes, right here. <laughs> Vilmar. The cup is on the table. Very good. Radu, there is a book on the table. Yes. Lolly, there is some salt on the table next to the table behind the glass of water. Okay, good. Now, there is some salt on the table next to the table. That that's that sounds a little strange. So let's 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 um, fix your sentence, Lolly. There is some salt on the table behind the glass of water. Yeah. So we don't need next to. I don't know. Next to. I don't know what we need a a noun. What's next to the table, Lolly? So you, you just said next to the table, so we don't know. So there is some salt on the table, so we know, okay, there's salt on the table. That goes together um, behind the glass of water. Um, behind the glass of water, so we, we need more information for that. So maybe, okay, there is some salt on the table next to... Mm, I'm a little confused, okay? Lolly, I'm confused, so please um, try to fix your sentence, okay? So do it again, okay, Lolly? Let's see, Go says, uh, there, there is your phone next to the TV. Okay, yeah, there is your phone next to the TV. The TV we want. Radu, there, there is, let's see, let's see, I have to go back. I'm, I'm, I'm behind on the sentences here, reading your comments. Radu, there is a coaster under the cup. Yeah, that is true. Right here. Here is my coaster and there's the cup. So yes, that is very true in my case. <laughs> okay, Tomas, there is a laptop on my desk. Good. Umash, there is a parrot on the tree. Or actually we say in the tree. Okay, Umesh. Um, because the, tr the birds, birds are usually in trees. Kadeen, there's a laptop on my table. Saima, there is a mobile phone on the table. Tomas, there is a chair by the table. Um, Dilla, there is a book on the table. Radu, there is a notebook in my backpack. Umesh, there is a kite in the sky. There is a kite. So don't forget your your articles here. A kite. Radu, there's a bag of potato chips in my shopping bag. Tomas, there are... Okay, Tomas, we are using is, okay? Uh, right, Radu, there's a mustard shirt on my bed. <laughs> I hope it's not mine. Um, there is a pillow under my head. Oh, Radu is relaxing right now. Air conditioner. Yes, Seiru. Uh, the pen is by the laptop. Um, umesh. Uh, there is a microphone on Mark's shirt right here. <laughs> um, let's see, Ava. There is a jam. Okay, we jam is uncountable, so we could just say there is jam on the table. Okay, Ava. So... We use a uh, for countable nouns, and for non-countable, we don't use articles. So we can say, there is jam. So we don't need, we don't need the ah. Uh. So we can say, there is jam on my table. Okay. On a, there is a marker, pen. Okay. On the whiteboard or... 
on the tray. So this is this is a whiteboard. This is the tray. We say, okay, so you know this is holding things, right? This tray holds things, right? So it's holding the eraser. It's holding these markers or pens. So here's the whiteboard, and here is the tray. So we can say um, there is a pen on the tray. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, Lolly, there is some salt on the table next to the next to the bottle behind the glass of water. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I need just that little bit more information, and you made your sentence very clear. Well done, Lolly. Mwah. Glad to. That makes me very happy to see that you just a little more information, and there you go. You have a great sentence. All right, Lucy, there are, okay, here, Lucy, we're doing there is, okay, Lucy, there is, all uh, right, Tomas, there is a new battery in Mark's micro, well, <laughs> you remember, so actually, charged, so I, I have a charger, so there's no battery, it just charges, so um, on Tuesday, I lost the charge, right, the, my, my, my phone, lost or my my microphone um lost power because it wasn't charged or we could say it lost it lost its charge it lost its charge okay who lucy in the sky lucy in the sky with diamonds everyone knows that song beatles everybody knows that anna there is there is a sun in the sky. Okay, Anna, um, <laughs> there is a sun in the sky. Woo, I'm happy about that. If there, were no, if there was not a sun in the sky, we would not be here, right? We need the sun. Ah, Theodore, hello. I want to take part in it. You are right here. You are doing it. Uh, Theodore, please make your sentence. Please Form your sentence. There is a ballon on the water. Ballon. I don't know ballon, Ava. Yeah, Lucy. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. That, the Beatles. Okay. Yeah, rechargeable battery. So there, these, this, there's two, right? I have a receiver. This is the receiver, and this is the microphone. And these are rechargeable. There's no battery. Well, we don't put, there's a battery in there, but we can't change the battery. Okay. Yeah, okay, Anna. There is a marker pen in the tray on the whiteboard. Yes, 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 Anna. Much better. Hell God, there is. A pupil named Radu, among other pupils in the online class. Yes, Radu is a character. Okay, Saima, there is a pencil holder on the table beside the computer. Very good. All right. Well, okay, let's 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 change our activities. Good job, everyone. No problem. So this is our pattern. We formed a sentence. There is a thing in, on, under, by, place. Okay, so let's, let's do our second activity, shall we? Which one doesn't belong and why? That's our second activity. Which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? Okay, which one doesn't belong? I'm going to give you four items. If, if you're new here, then um, I'm going to explain. You will understand this very easily, very quickly. So our four, ex for example, I, I give the same example every time because it's very simple, easy to understand example. Okay, which one doesn't belong? We have four things. For example, red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one doesn't belong and why? 
bicycle doesn't belong because it's not a color. Red, blue, pink are colors. A bicycle is a form of transportation. So bicycle does not belong. Okay, so that is the game. Here we go. We have, I made a new sheet, new items. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Which one doesn't belong? Mark, have the Canadians won many medals so far? Yes, I think Canada is doing very well. Canada did well in track and field. Uh, Canada did very well in swimming. Canada, Canada did well in, um, I'm not sure, the other sports. But yeah, I think Canada, Canada usually does well, right? Track and field and swimming. Canada is always strong in those sports. Okay, here we go. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go. We have four things. Mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, soy sauce. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go. One more time. Mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, soy sauce. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? <laughs> Vilmar says, a bicycle can contain all the colors. Yeah, so we can have a blue bicycle, a pink bicycle, a, a red bicycle. But colors can't contain the bicycle, no. Colors are colors. They are just colors. <laughs> okay, one more time. Mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, soy sauce. Which one doesn't belong and why? Raphael says soy sauce because it doesn't go inside the hot dog. Or actually we say go on a hot dog. Go on a hot dog. I don't, I mean, that, that's good answer. Raphael, but I wouldn't put mayonnaise on a hot dog. No, 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 no. No mayonnaise on hot dogs. Actually, I don't use ketchup. I just like mustard on my hot dogs. I just like mustard on my hot dogs. Ava says ketchup because it is red. I like it. Oh, Tomas. Soy sauce because it is fluid. Good, good. Sewu, soy sauce, because it's more salty than the others. Very good. Alice, how you doing? Mm, Alice is in the house. Alice is here. Helga says, mayonnaise doesn't belong because there are animal products in it. Oh, eggs. That's right. Eggs are in mayonnaise. Very good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you the pictures. Okay, so we have, whoops, whoops, whoops. We have mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, and soy sauce. One more time. Mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, soy sauce. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? That's the most important part, why? That's the most important part, why? Radu says soy sauce because its texture is different. It is a liquid, whereas the others are more thick. You guys are very clever, very smart. I like your answers. Lolly says soy sauce because having a color, it's white. Uh, soy sauce, okay, so Lolly, soy, soy sauce, because it doesn't have a color. It does, Lolly. It does. It's kind of a black. It's like black. Well, maybe, okay, ah, ah, ah. Black is not a color, is it? White and black are not colors. Okay. There you go. Lolly, you are correct. But soy sauce is, it's black, which is not a color. So it works, your answer works, but you should say it's black. 
All right, Ava says mayonnaise because it's made from eggs. Radu says soy sauce because it is the only thing that you can put on delicious sushi. What? Oh, oh, soy sauce. Yes, yes, yes. I, th I was thinking mayonnaise. I, 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 I was, so I read Ava's answer, right? Ava used mayonnaise, and then I read your answer. And so mayonnaise was still in my mind. I was thinking, what? Mayonnaise on sushi? No, no, no. But yes, we put soy sauce on delicious su sushi. Yes, Umesh. Umesh. So soy sauce is black. Helga, mayonnaise doesn't belong because there are animal products in it. Very good. Gosh says soy sauce because. Oh, okay, it's black. Okay, gosh, soy sauce because it it doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a color, or you could say it's not a color. Soy sauce because it's not a color, it's black. Lolly mayonnaise because it's com Composed of different things. Well, same with the others. So mustard is composed of, I mean, mustard seeds are the main ingredient, but I think they add other things. Ketchup is composed of tomatoes and, and sugar, lots of sugar and ketchup because that's why it's sweet. And soy sauce is made of different things, of course, soybeans and there's lots of salt. So they're all made of different ingredients. They're all processed. The, these are all processed, meaning it's not one ingredient, right? So uh, maybe we can say coffee is one ingredient, coffee beans, that's it, right? But mustard, there's more than one ingredient. Mayonnaise, more than one ingredient ketchup more than one ingredient soy sauce has more than one ingredient okay Anna wants me to pronounce mayonnaise slowly mayonnaise so the the spelling and the pronunciation is very different right mayonnaise 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 Japan, Japanese pronounce it very differently, but um, Americans say mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you very much. You like my shirt. I like my shirt too. This is my favorite shirt. This is my number one favorite shirt right here. <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite shirt today. Radu says soy sauce because it is slightly more expensive than the others. I'm not entirely sure. Me too. Me too, Radu. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think maybe, I don't know which one's the most expensive. I, maybe soy sauce. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, maybe if you get organic, right? So maybe organic mayonnaise is more expensive. I don't know. I don't know the prices. Okay, Seiru, I like your answer. That's my answer. Seiru, we have the same answer. Okay, uh, Lolly says, mayonnaise because there is no U in it. Let's check it out. Mustard has a U. Ketchup has a U. Sauce has a U. Mayonnaise, no U. Woo, good job, Lolly. Yeah, good, Kumar. Mustard is a condiment made from the seeds of a mustard plant. Ah, gosh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll turn around so you can see everything. There you go. This is my shirt. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, Kayleen, it's soy sauce because it doesn't, it isn't suitable for putting on a sandwich. Yes, Kayleen, that is my answer too. Good job. So that's what I say also. Yeah, Lolly, ketchup has a lot of sugar, more than you think. Very, ketchup is not very healthy for you. Lots and lots, mostly sugar, I think. 
Oh, thank you, Kumar. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's my answer. So we have mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, soy sauce. So my answer is soy sauce because it's not suitable for a sandwich. It's not suitable for a sandwich where... Uh, that's okay, Ava. No offense. No problem. <laughs> we say different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks. Right? I like this color, but you don't like that color. It's okay. I say tomato, you say tomato. <laughs> I say potato, you say potato. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? What, what, I forgot that song. You, you, I say tomato, you say tomato. I say potato, you say potato. Can't we just call the whole thing off? I don't know the song. I forget the song. Okay, anyways, that's right. So, um, mustard is great on sandwiches. Mm, mayonnaise, I, I like mayonnaise on like ham, on a ham sandwich. I like mayonnaise. Of course, like a tuna, tuna fish sandwich, I need mayonnaise. On a BLT sandwich, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, I like mayonnaise. Um, actually, I don't use much ketchup. I use ketchup on my french fries. That's it. Only I just use ketchup on french fries. But I love mustard. I could put mustard on anything. Um, mayonnaise, just I don't use that much mayonnaise. I use more mayonnaise than ketchup. I use more mayonnaise than ketchup. I put mayonnaise on a ham sandwich and I put mayonnaise on a BLT sandwich. I put mustard on anything except I would never use mustard on a BLT. So a BLT or egg sandwich, right? Egg sandwich, only mayonnaise. For, only mayonnaise for a for a egg sandwich and a BLT sandwich, but the other sandwiches I like mustard. Soy sauce, of course, is for um, Asian food, right? Sushi and I don't I don't use much soy sauce either. So, but my number one used condiment is mustard. Actually, I have a I have a question for you guys. Which one do you use most? How about that? In the chat, please tell me which one you use most. Which condiment do you use most? Do you use mustard most? Do you use mayonnaise most? Do you use ketchup most? Do you use soy sauce most? In this group, which one do you use most? That's right, Helga. Different strokes for different folks, right? So, I this is... I like this color, but Ava doesn't. That's okay, because we are different. We like we can like different things, no problem. Ah, uh, Dijon. Dijon is mustard, I thought. Dijon, we have Dijon mustard. That's like the seeds, the, the, the mustard with the seeds in it. We call that Dijon. But... Lolly says, mayonnaise de jaune. I, I've never heard that before. I didn't know um, mayonnaise de jaune. I know mustard de jaune, but I didn't know mayonnaise de jaune. Okay, which one do you use most? Mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, or soy sauce? Please tell me in the chat. Which one do you use most? Lolly says, I use most homemade mayonnaise. So, okay, Lolly, I use... Homemade mayonnaise most. I use homemade mayonnaise most. Yeah, garlic sauce. I, I like garlic olive oil on pizza. Garlic. And, and, and actually, I like a pepper garlic olive oil on pizza. Very good. Tomas, I use mayonnaise... Okay, and must, no, 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 Tomas, you have to choose one, use one, you have to choose one. It's difficult, but that's what I'm asking you. Ava, I use, I use mayonnaise most. Okay, Ava, I use 
mayonnaise most. Oh gosh, uses ketchup most. I use ketchup most. Okay, Nyon said Han says I use soy sauce most. I use soy sauce most. Okay, so here we go. I use must for me. I use mustard most. Okay, I use mustard most. How about you? No corn on pizza, Raphael. No corn on pizza. No, no, no. No mayonnaise on pizza. In Japan, people put mayonnaise on pizza. No, no. No mayonnaise on pizza. No way, Jose. No way. Okay, Jessica says, I use mustard most. Me too. God says, I often use ketchup. I use homemade mayonnaise most. Very good, Lolly. Okay. Mary Jimenez says, I use mayonnaise most. Very good, Mary Jimenez. Tomas says, mustard Dijon has horseradish in it. Ah, okay. I like horseradish. I like using horseradish on steak. That's very good. Horseradish on steak is, is delicious. Anna says, I use soy sauce most. Oh, Radu says, garlic sauce and mayonnaise are my favorite things in the kitchen. Very interesting. Kaylee says, I use mayonnaise most. Okay, Ivana says, I use mustard most. Ava says, I use mayonnaise most. So it's like a tie between, I think mayonnaise is like most used here. All right, gosh, nice sentence. No, Radu, you are just being a joker. You are being at an act, or um, act, oh, I can't say the word. Um, you are just going against the the grain, Radu. Vilmar, all of these, I use the least I can of all of them. Yeah, I mean, it's better not to, mustard's not bad for you, I think. There's not much, I don't think mustard has too much uh, sugar. The problem with, with, the problem with these, soy sauce has a lot of salt. And ketchup has a lot of sugar mayonnaise has a lot of fat but mustard i i think mustard's probably the healthiest of the four i would say mustard is the healthiest of the four mayonnaise is high in fat ketchup is high in sugar soy sauce is high in salt here we go one more time let's say this together Mayonnaise is high in fat. Ketchup is high in sugar. Soy sauce is high in salt. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, Kayleen, I like mayonnaise on salad. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big, I like, I, I like mayonnaise with my tuna sandwich, and I like mayonnaise on my BLT, and I like mayonnaise on my ham sandwich but that's it okay let's go with our next four yeah radu i think mustard is the 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 best of the four like because like i said high fat high sugar high salt um mustard i'm not sure exactly i i don't think i think it's not bad I think mustard is not too bad. Okay, here we go. Group number two, everyone. Here we go. No, Ivana. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ivana. Okay. Here we go. Group number two. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go. Group number two. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. A water bottle, a Swiss ball, a bag, 
sneakers. Which one doesn't belong and why? That's right, Tomas. Mayonnaise is high in fat, soy sauce is high in salt, and ketchup is high in sugar. Here we go. One more time. Which one doesn't belong? A water bottle, a Swiss ball, a bag, sneakers. Which one doesn't belong and why? Rice and be rice, beans and meat all tempered with natural tomato, onion and garlic is one of the, oh Vilmar. I love rice, I love beans, I love meat. I like all those. That sounds so delicious, Vilmar. Sounds very delicious. Yeah, gosh. There is a coffee shop in the shopping mall. Perfect sentence, gosh. Perfect sentence. Okay, Radu. Sneakers, because, um, okay, sneakers, so we have an S there, so we need the plural, um, they are. Okay, so sneakers, because they are footwear. Okay, Helga, sneakers, because we wear them. Yeah, Radu, I agree. So actually we say fried rice. So fried rice here in Japan has egg in it, yes. We call that chahan in, in Japan. Chahan, which is um, fried rice, and fried rice has egg, um, green onions, bell peppers. Yeah, so those are the, the, the main ingredients in fried rice. Eggs, green onions, and green peppers. Very, very delicious. High and, and oil, so lots of oil. So actually, um, fried rice is not so healthy, but very delicious. Okay, here we go. One more time. A water bottle, a Swiss ball, a bag, sneakers. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Ava wants to see the pictures, and of course, I'm going to show you the pictures. Here we go. We have... There we go. There's a water bottle. There's a Swiss ball. Um, let me get my over there. There's a bag and sneakers. So we have a water bottle, a Swiss ball, a bag, and sneakers. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Raphael, one more time. Here we go. We have a water bottle. We have a Swiss ball. We have a bag and sneakers. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, here we go. Helga, a water bottle because it is for water. Very good. Gosh, sneakers because they are, okay, gosh, sneakers because they are footwear, footwear, footwear. So we say footwear. So they are footwear. So footwear, footwear. Okay. Footwear. Okay. Lolly, a water bottle because you can drink water from it. Okay, so from it. Okay, we need from it. A water bottle because you can drink water from it. Very good. Right, do a water bottle because it has a nozzle. Okay, nah, I wouldn't say nozzle, it has a, a nipple. We say nipple. It has a nipple. Nozzles like, like larger, much larger, a nozzle. Like that would be like on your garden hose has a nozzle. Um, a gas pump, that's the nozzle. So all the gas comes out of the nozzle. But with a, a water bottle, it has a nipple. 
Okay, Helga has a good question. She says, what is a Swiss ball? I have one right there. I use it as my chair. So I have one right here, and I'm going to show you. Oh, don't. Here is a Swiss ball. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I am Hercules. I'm holding up the world. Yes, this is a Swiss ball. And yes, it is large. It is large. Yeah. So this is, I use this as my chair. <laughs> so that is a Swiss ball. It's for exercising, but I use it for my chair. So it's good for your stomach, yeah. So it builds your stomach muscles, so it's good. So a Swiss ball is very good exercise. I recommend everyone to use a Swiss ball. I use it for my chair, and it's very comfortable. And you can sit down and do your work, and you're like using your stomach muscles, and it, it's soft and it feels good. It's good for your back, yeah. So Swiss ball is very good for your body. So I recommend you guys throw away your chair, get your chair out and buy a Swiss ball. Use the Swiss ball as your chair. I recommend that. If you have an office, if you're, you know, if you're sitting at a desk and if you can get rid of that chair, get a Swiss ball and you will feel better. Oh, okay, so God says, a water bottle because there is water inside. Gosh, there is water inside. Okay, Lucy says, Swiss ball doesn't belong to the others. Water bottle and bag and sneakers can put inside for carrying things, but Swiss ball can only carry air. Oh, good one, Lucy. Good one. Okay, I st so my answer, my answer, okay, Ava, a Swiss ball because I use it in the gym. Ah, gosh, says sneakers because there is no B in it. Oh, okay, Lolly, sneakers because there's no B in it. So, so Lolly and gosh have say there's no B in it. So water bottle. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sneak, okay. Water bottle, B. Swiss ball, B. Bag, B. Sneakers, no B. Very good. Okay, nice, nice. All right, so Leonardo, you're very welcome. Now, my answer is Swiss ball because we don't take it with us, right? So if we go to the gym or go anywhere, take a water bottle, right? Easy. We can take a water bottle. Uh, we could take a bag, right? That's very easy. Take a bag anywhere. Sneakers. We take our sneakers to the gym. We take a water bottle to the gym. We take a bag to the gym. But we do not take the Swiss ball to the gym. The Swiss ball is there. So I had the, so Ava, we had the same answer. Okay, Anna, have a nice day, Anna. Mwah, thank you for, and Anna, please come tomorrow, okay, for the grammar wheel tomorrow. We're having the grammar wheel tomorrow. So I hope to see Anna here tomorrow, Saturday, August 7th. Today is August 6th. Tomorrow is August 7th. I will be here for our grammar wheel. Ah, oh, thank you, Seiru. Thank you. Okay, let's, okay, good job, everyone. So I'm going to put today's date. We did it today. Today is August 6th, August 6th. So we have some more for next week, okay? So let's change our activity. And our next activity is going to be problem solution. Problem solution. I'm going to give you a problem. And you give me the solution, please. Here we go. So I'm going to write it on the board. So we did which one doesn't belong. So these are our activities so far. 
we did form a sentence, we just did which one doesn't belong, and now we're going to do problem solution. And so I'll put another asterisk, problem slash solution. Okay, here we go. Here is the problem. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, yes, Vilmar. So, a Vilmar says, oh, is that Japanese? So there was a fire truck that drove by the, my office, and it was like making some announcement. I didn't hear the announcement, but they're probably saying, they'll have like the fire truck go around the neighborhood, and they'll say, okay, everyone, be careful. Um, don't, don't burn your house. <laughs> So the fire truck goes, drives around the, the neighborhood, it has a loudspeaker. Be careful, don't burn your house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I will be careful. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. All right, so here we go. Oh, in LA, it's 7 p.m. Mary has, um, Jimenez is in LA. That's, you're lucky. I want to be there. Okay, here we go. Problem, solution. My problem, what is your solution? Vilmar, it is super hot in Japan. Super humid. It's terrible. The weather is terrible right now. August is terrible month. August in Japan is the worst month of the year. One more time. I'm going to say it one more time. August is the worst time in Japan. Okay, here we go. Here is the problem. Yes, Radu, Japan is a sauna right now, for sure. You just sweat. In, in my office, I have air conditioning, so I'm okay. But if you go outside, you just sweat. When you're sleeping, you sweat. Sweat, 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 sweat. Okay, here we go. My problem. My engine is running hot. What is the solution? My engine is running hot. One more time. My engine is running hot. For sure, Vilmar. It is crazy. It's crazy to have the Olympics in August in Japan, it's no bueno, no bueno. My engine is running hot. <laughs> What's the solution? Lolly has a solution. She says, stop your car and look for help. Thank you. Uma says, go see a mechanic. Thank you. Ah, gosh, that's a good idea. I know. Canada is much cooler. <laughs> Vilmar, Vilmar's engine is running hot. So, Vilmar, I think you should stop and look for help. <laughs> so, Vilmar, you should stop and look for help. Okay, here we go. Raphael says, call the guys that were passing a few minutes ago telling you to don't burn things. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, Raphael's talking about the fire truck that passed here saying, everyone be careful, don't burn your house. Don't burn your house. Okay, Tomas, my engine is running hot so I have to stop it. Change the engine. <laughs> Seiru says, Change the engine. Get a new engine. Okay, God says, solution, stop your car and look for help. Ah, Umesh, pour water in the engine. Okay. Well, not water in the engine. We want to put water in the radiator. Then the radiator, the radiator sends the water through the engine. Yeah. So we don't want to pour water directly in the engine because that will destroy your engine. But what we want to do is pour water 
in the radiator so that way the radiator can send water through the engine. Lolly says, call a tow truck. Hello, tow truck. I, my engine is running hot. I need help. Ah, Helga says, you have to stop and wait a little until the engine will be, become cooler. You have to stop and wait and let your engine become cooler, okay? You have to stop. Wait, wait, where is that? Okay, Helga, you have to stop and wait till your engine becomes cooler. You have to stop and wait till your engine becomes cooler. Yeah, okay, gosh, you have to stop and wait a little until your engine will be cooler. Until your engine will be cooler. Oh, pour some water on the engine. Okay, not in the engine. Tomas says on the engine. Okay, that, that should work. But then you don't want, the, if the engine is really hot and you pour water on the engine, the, the engine block can crack. It can crack. So you have to be careful pouring water on the engine. Because if it's super hot, the water will crack the, the um, engine block. Okay, Radu, jump out of the car and launch a rocket towards the engine. Solve the problem permanently. Blow up the car. Blow up the car. Radu, pray to the engine gods that they will help you. Okay, that's, that's good advice. Ava, stop your car and run away. <laughs> run away. It's hot. There's been a cold wave in South Africa. Or in South... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Vilmar. There's been a cold wave in South... In South America as is not seen for years. Yeah, we're going through some climate change for sure, Vilmar. Climate change. Check and replenish the coolant. Very good, Sewu. Stop and replenish the coolant. That's the coolant goes in the radiator. Very good. Radu, dump ice cubes on the engine. Okay. Kayleen says, sorry, I don't understand cars. So, so Kayleen says, sorry, I can't give you a solution because I don't understand cars. I can't give you a solution because I don't understand cars. And then Ava says, yes, me too. <laughs> solidarity, yes. So Ava and Kayleen are in solidarity with each other. Okay, good, good. Lucy, stop driving your car first and then put your car in the shady and cool place for washing cars. That will help the whole car temperature. Yes. So Lucy says, stop running your car. Put it in a cool place, like a shady, cool place. That is a good advice. All right, everybody. Nicely done. That is problem solution. Everyone knows what to do. You know what to do. Yay. Okay. Let's keep moving shall we now our next activity is a conversation from my book yes okay so we're going to do a conversation 50 very short conversations and today's conversation is number 39 number 39 page 50 right here conversation 39 displeasure Displeasure. So, pleasure, oh, I like it. Displeasure, uh, this, not a good situation. I am not pleased. I, do, I am not happy about the situation. I am not pleased. So, I, I'm showing displeasure, okay? So, displeasure, conversation 39, page 50, and 
actually there's no space. So I'm going to write the conversation on the board, but there is no place for the conversation. So what I have to do, I have to take a picture of the whiteboard and then erase it. All right. So I need to get my phone right here. Sorry, you can't see me right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, here's my phone. I'm going to open my camera. There's the camera's open. I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Then I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can check it out anytime you want to. Okay, so I'm going to step back here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture and now I can erase the whiteboard and I will put the conversation on the board so we can practice together. Here we go. I'm taking these off so I can erase. Yes. Okay, just throw those over there. Here are the cards. Put them down here on the table. Now I have my eraser here and now I can erase. I took a picture so we can, you, or you can check it out anytime you want. Go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. The link is in the description below. So you just can go to the link and um, join the group. And you can, all the whiteboards are there. Okay, so let's do it, shall we? So step one, I am going to read the conversation. All right, so I want you to listen and then I will write the conversation on the board and we will practice together. Okay, so here we go. Count down. Please listen. Five, four, three, two, one. You overslept. What day is it? It's Monday. Do I have to work today? Yes, you do. I should go now. <laughs> no, no, no. I made a mistake. I should get up now. Okay, one more time. I'm sorry. Here's the picture. There's the picture. This is the context. This is the situation. This is the situation of the conversation. Okay, one more time. I, 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 I messed up the last sentence. Okay, here we go. You overslept. What day is it? It's Monday. Do I have to work today? Yes, you do. I should get up now. <laughs> I should get up now. Okay, I will write down the conversation so you can see it and we can practice together. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I coughed. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't do that with the mic. Ah, okay. I'm sorry for coughing. Makes a terrible noise. Makes a terrible sound. Okay, here we go. A. You overslept. B. What day is it? What day is it? A. It's Monday. It's Monday. B. Do I have to work today? Do I have to work today? Question. A. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. B. I should get up now. I should get up now. Okay, that's our conversation. Okay, so we will, we will practice the pronunciation. We will practice the speed. 
we will talk about the meaning and then we will do it together, okay? So let's first go with the pronunciation, okay? Here we go. You overslept. You overslept. You overslept. What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? A. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Do I have to work today? 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 Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I should get up now. 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 Okay, so that was pronunciation. Let's talk about the meaning, all right? So, you overslept. So this is past tense, right? So oversleep, that means you don't wake up when you should, right? So let's say, for example, you, you should get up at 8, but you get up at 9. Oh, you overslept, right? So this is past tense because it already happened, right? It already happened. So we put it in the past. You overslept. And then, uh, what day is it? So, B just woke up, right? B just woke up, and so we kind of like, we, we say we're in a fog, like, oh, I don't even know what day it is, right? Because I just woke up, I'm not thinking clearly, right? My head is like a cloud. My head is in the clouds. I'm in a fog. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Because I just woke up. So what day is it? And then A says, oh, it's Monday. It's, it's Monday. It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Thursday. It's Friday. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. It's Monday. It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Thursday. It's Friday. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. Do I have to work today? So, do, have to, like, obligation. So, perhaps, well, if you work at a company or you work for someone and you have an agreement, right? Like, okay, I promise to come to work and you promise to give me money. So, we have an agreement. So, I work for you. My promise to you is I go to work. I go to your company. Your agreement with me is you give me money, right? So we have an agreement. I go to work for you and you give me money. So that's our agreement. So that's an obligation. So I have to do it because I promised I made an obligation, right? I made a contract, right? So we, we I signed a an application and I told you, I told you, okay, I want to work for you. You said, okay. And we talked about how much money and how many days I have to go and how many hours. So we have a, we have an, we have an, a, um, agreement. We have an agreement. I will come to your company and you will give me money. So that's an obligation. So we use have to. So here, B is asking the question, do I have to work today? So if it's Saturday, I don't have to work. If it's Sunday, I don't have to work. But if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, I have to work. So that is my obligation. So B is saying, do I have to work today? And then A says, yes, you do. Today's Monday. Monday, you have to work. And then B says, I should get up now. So it's a good idea if I wake up. So, so should is um, advice, right? Oh, you should eat healthy. You should exercise. So um, should is advice. So I'm giving myself advice. 
So I should get up now, right? So <laughs> that's a good idea because I have to go to work because it's Monday. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm looking at the chat now. So Ava says must, or have to equals must. Um, yeah, yes. No, Vilmar, you have to pay taxes. Everybody must pay taxes. Everyone has to pay taxes. So that is not true. <laughs> Lolly says, oversleep equals failed to wake up on time. Yes. Seiru says, I've taken five days off, summer holiday. Congratulations, Seiru. Nice. Enjoy your five days off. Enjoy your summer break, Seiru. Enjoy your summer break. Okay. Okay, we talked about the meaning. Now, let's go a little bit of speed practice. We'll go quickly and slowly, then we will practice together. Okay, here we go. You overslept. You overslept. You overslept. What day is it? 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 It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It is Monday. It is Monday. It's Monday. Do I have to work today? 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 Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I should get up now. 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 <laughs> okay, good. All right, now let's do it together. Let's role play. Yeah, so that means we're going to do the conversation together. I will say A and you say B. A, B, A, B. Okay, so I will say A and you will say B. Okay, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm A, you are B. You overslept. It's Monday. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> go to work. Hurry, get going. Get going. Don't be fired. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Second time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. You overslept. It's Monday. Yes, you do. That's a good idea. Get going. Hurry up. Hurry up. You're going to be late. You're going to be late for work. You're going to be late for work. Okay. Third time is the charm. Here we go. Third time. Five, four, three, two, one. You overslept. It's Monday. Yes, you do. Yes, you should. <laughs> yes, you should. Should I get up now? 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 Yes, you should. <laughs> okay, let's switch. You are A, I am B. A, B, A, B. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What day is it? Do I have to go to work today? I should get up now. <laughs> Bye, I'm going to work. Okay, here we go. Second time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What day is it? Do I have to work today? I should get up now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to work now. I'm going to work now. I'm going to work now. I'm going to work. Okay. Let's do it. Third time is the charm. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What day is it? Do I have to work today? I should get up now. <laughs> Let me get my coffee. I have my coffee. Now I'm going to work. Bye. See you tonight. I'm going to work. See you tonight. Okay, good job. 
Should I get up now? Yes, you should. Should I get up now? Yes, you should. Today, today, I'm off today. Today, I'm off. Okay, so, so I have a day off. So you overslept. What day is it? It's Monday. Do I have to work today? No, you don't. It's your day. So we could say, it's my day off. Yeah, it's my day off. Um, yeah, so it's it's my day off. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Um, okay. I'm looking at the clock, and we are doing good on time. So let's do our dictation cards. Let's do our members' green team dictation cards. Uh-oh. Okay, so we have our members' dictation cards, and our topic today is cross my mind, or cross one's mind. Cross one's mind, actually, that shouldn't be parentheses. Okay. Cross one's mind, and that means um, occur to one. Okay, cross one's mind, that's our topic. And we'll have four steps, or no, three. Shadow. Hmm. We'll do pronunciation. And quiz. Okay, so that are the three steps. Oh, and I remember we have a poll, yeah? So at the top of the chat, the blue box, there's a poll. So basically I want you to finish the sentence. So I'm, I'm looking at the poll now. 99 people voted. And the, the, the pattern is, it sometimes crosses my mind too. Okay, and I want you to finish the sentence. It sometimes crosses my mind to call my mother. It sometimes crosses my mind to work harder. It sometimes crosses my mind to be kinder. And four, it sometimes reminds, it, it sometimes crosses my mind to watch my weight, okay? And um, the number one, the number one most popular sentence is, it sometimes crosses my mind to work harder. Then very close, very close, so that's 33%. 31% is, it sometimes crosses my mind to call my mother, yeah? And then the third most popular is, it sometimes crosses my mind to be kinder. That's the third, very, and then that's 18%, and then 17% is, it sometimes crosses my mind to watch my weight. All right, somebody just voted, so there's 100 votes now. That, I, like, I like numbers like that, even numbers, so. Okay, so that is, that was the poll today, so I hope everyone voted for that. Okay. Oh, someone just did. We've got 101. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. So um, let's get to it. Yeah. Gosh. Call your mom. Say, call my mom. <laughs> Don't forget to call your mom. It, it, it's hard for me because I'm in Japan and so I have to um, call my mother. And so the time difference, sometimes that makes it difficult the time difference, but I have to, like, okay, I gotta call my mom. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
What am I doing? Pencil and paper, that's right, we're doing dictation. Oh no. Oh, I forgot. So we got to change these a little bit. Ah, sorry, sorry, four steps. Sorry, step one's dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, pronunciation. And then quiz. Okay, thank you, Lolly. Lolly said, pencil and paper is ready. And I go, oh, there's dictation. It's not just shadow, no, dictation. So you need paper and pencil because I want you to listen and write down what I say word for word. All right, so today we have eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And like I said, it's from our, our team, our green team. And we have Phil Zolik, Larissa, Ava, Ava's here, Sewu, Sewu is here, Miley, Sophia, Marion. So and myself, and there's one card from me because we only had seven. So um, I'm gonna mix them up. So that way, I don't know, I just like mixing the cards. <laughs> I like mixing the cards. So we have eight cards <clears throat> and you need to write down what I say word for word, okay? So here we go. Step one, dictation. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Second time. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Oh, good, Sebu. Yeah, Lolly, it's a, next week, Lolly. Next week, please. <laughs> okay, third time. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Okay. Card number two, card number two. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. Okay, card number three. Radu, very good. Okay, card number three. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Okay, 
Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Blurt, Vilmar. Blurt. Blurt out. Blurt out. Okay, number four. Number four. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. Good, Ava. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. Okay, number five. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. All right, number six. New ideas often cross our mind when we're relaxed. New ideas often cross my mind when we're, no, no, mistake, mistake. New ideas often cross our mind when we're relaxed. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. Relaxed. Number seven. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. Good, Lucy. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. We don't need a boyfriend. Coward. We don't need, we don't. Okay, number three. Or, no, third time, third time. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. Good hell, God. Oh, Floor, hello, Floor. 
Hello, I don't read Russian. <laughs> okay, last card, number eight. Here we go. Last card. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. This idea never crossed my mind. This idea never crossed my mind. This idea never crossed my mind. You're welcome, Floor. Okay, that was dictation. Let's check it off. You did it. Okay, shadow. Now, dictation was listening and writing. Now it's shadowing. That means it's listening and speaking. Okay, so now it is speaking practice. Okay, here we go. Shadowing. You're going to listen and speak with me at the same time as I do. We're going to say these sentences together. Okay, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Okay, this is Ava's card. It never crossed my mind that the world would have been, that the world would be locked down. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Yeah, so like, occur right think like right who would last year who would have thought that the world would be locked down right that's crazy right we think huh how can you lock down the world well we did <laughs> okay so good sentence Ava yeah okay card number two in English I take time before answering I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. This is Miley, Miley's card. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. Okay, blurt out. Blurt out. Do you see that? B-L-U-R-T out. Blurt out. So that means just without thinking, say something, right? So, so Miley, so she, in, in, for, in English, right? She's from Italy. Her first language is Italian. And so English is not her native language. It's her second language, right? So she can't, she, she first, before answering, she, before answering in English, right? She, she thinks about what she wants to say. Um, she doesn't blurt out, meaning she doesn't just, without thinking, she doesn't say something, right? So, so Miley wants to think about it, and then she says it in English, so. Yeah, that's, like, okay, blurt out, say, say on impulse, yeah, exactly, Lolly, so on impulse, so not thinking about it, just say it, right? That's blurt out, very good, so. One more time, Miley says, in English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. Okay, so she wants to think, okay, is this the correct answer? Am I saying this correctly? Is this the right context? Okay, the right information. Okay, number three. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. 
This is from Mark. <laughs> Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. So sad, right? Sad thoughts. Maybe you miss somebody. You, you know, you're homesick or, you know, someone, a good friend has died. And so, you know, so sad thoughts. So maybe you're walking and you think of, you know, these sad thoughts cross your mind, you know, occurs to you, right? And bitter, <laughs> bitter, maybe angry, right? So um, maybe some angry thoughts, you know, somebody did something bad to you. And, and so like sad and bitter thoughts, many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Okay, here we go. Card number four. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. Okay, my ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. This is Seiru. So maybe Seiru, she thinks about her ex-boyfriend from time to time. For, so from time to time is like sometimes, right? So once in a while, time to time, once in a while, time to time. Once in a while, that, that should actually be separated. Okay, so once in a while, time to time, once in a while, occasionally, occasionally, okay. From time to time, my ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. So, so she thinks about her boyfriend time to time. Yeah. Manome, how are you doing? Did I put a T? Ah. Jeez. Jeez. There we go. All right, let me write it again. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, number five, let's go, number five. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. I'm good, Manome. How are you doing? Okay, here we go. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. Okay, this is Phil Zolik. I love my island. So, Maybe Phil lives on an island, right? Like um, Hawaii or something. I don't know, right? There's many islands. And um, I love my island, so maybe Hawaii. Uh, it would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. So I, it would never occur to me. Like, why would I live anywhere else? I, I live in paradise. So why would you live anywhere else? It would never cross my mind. It would never cross my mind. <laughs> it's a nice island. It's a nice island. Paradise, paradise. Okay, um, let's go. Number five, no, six. Number six. New ideas often cross our mind 
when we are relaxed. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. Yeah, so this is Larissa, and this is so true, right? For me, if I'm like walking, that means I'm relaxed, right? I, I feel good. And so that's when like I get good ideas. I get good ideas when I go for a walk. So, or if you're meditating, you know, if you're relaxing and you have a clear mind, right? You're not thinking bad thoughts. You're not thinking that. If you're not thinking sad thoughts, if you're not thinking bitter thoughts, you're just thinking of, okay, of, of peace, then you can have some good ideas. Yeah, so good ideas will cross your mind when you're relaxed, your mind is clear, clear of sad thoughts, clear of bitter thoughts, then you can think of new ideas. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, here we go. Number seven. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. It never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. Yeah, gosh, walking is is very good for your mind, for sure. Walking is good for your mind. Okay, this is Sophia's sentence. Sophia lives in South Africa. And I think Sophia's from Morocco. I think she's from Morocco. And so now she lives in South Africa. So she never, it never occurred to her, right? She never thought about that until it happened. <laughs> it never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. So it never crossed her mind like, hey, I'm going to go to South Africa and get married. She, she never thought about that until it happened. She never thought about it until it happened. Yeah, Sophia. So Sophia lives in South Africa, so the time difference is bad for her. She's working and, and but we see her on Zoom, right? We see Sophia on Zoom. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Last card. This idea never crossed my mind. 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 Yeah, so this is Marion's card. And so, um, like, oh, I didn't think about, oh, I didn't think about that. Or, wow, that, that's interesting, right? It never crossed my mind. Wow, I didn't, I didn't think about that. So look at it in a different way, right? So when we do which one doesn't belong, you guys have lots of answers that never cross my mind, right? So I made, you know, so when I made these, um, some of your answers. Wow, it never crossed my mind. I, I never, um, that, that idea never crossed my mind. So this idea never crossed my, I had, I, I didn't, I had no idea. And like, oh, that's a great idea. Now I saw someone, so here, um, that I would have gotten married. That I would have gotten married. Okay, so it, it's conditional, right? So, um, well, not conditional, but um, so uh, I can't think of it right now. So um, it never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married. So, so. 
it's in the past and like two things are happening. So, so one, it, it never crossed my mind. And the second, which is in the past. And then, and then it happened, um, have gotten married. So it never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. Gosh, I sent a link or I, 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 I sent you a message about the Zoom meeting. So, so we having our Zoom meeting on the, um, the, the last day in August, okay? The last Sunday, the last Sunday in August, our Zoom meetings. Okay, good job. Okay, that was shadowing. Okay, now let's do pronunciation, yeah? Pronunciation. Here we go. Yeah, so two things happening. So, never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married. Yep. Okay, so here we go. So, let's do pronunciation and then we will do the quiz. So, it never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. That the world would be locked down. That the world would be locked down. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. I can't just blurt out. Blurt out. Blurt out. Blurt out. Many sad and bitter thoughts cross my mind. Many sad and bitter thoughts. Sad and bitter thoughts. Sad and bitter thoughts. My ex-boyfriend crosses my mind from time to time. From time to time. From time to time. From time to time. I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. To live somewhere else. To live somewhere else. To live somewhere else. Live somewhere else. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. New ideas often cross our mind when we are relaxed. When we are relaxed. When we are relaxed. When we are relaxed. It would ne or it never crossed my mind that I would have gotten married in South Africa. I would have gotten married. 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 This idea never crossed my mind. This idea never crossed my mind. This idea never crossed my mind. Okay, good, good. That was pronunciation. Now it is quiz time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle so we don't know the order. We don't know the first card what the first card will be. We don't know what the second card will be. We don't know what the third card will be, all right? So because they are out of order, mixed up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take the first three cards. I don't know which they are. Okay, here we go. Card number one, please write the sentence in the chat. And this is Phil. Zolix card. Okay, what is the sentence? Okay, Lolly, thank you. Okay, what is the sentence, please? What is the sentence? What is the sentence?
Okay, Vilmar, this isn't my island. <laughs> That's right, you're, you're on a big island, Brazil. That's not really an island, is it, Brazil? It's a continent. <laughs> you're, in, you're in South America, Vilmar. Or, yeah, Vilmar, you're in South America. Mm. Okay, Rush. I can't read Russian. It never crossed my mind that I would leave my island. Helga, I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. Sebu, I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. Okay, this isn't my island. Floor, I love. I never cross my life. <laughs> my life. I I love my island. Okay, Ava, I love my island. It would never cross my mind to live anywhere else. Okay. Okay, let's. Tomas. I love my island. It would, it would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. Okay, good. Let's look. Hey, Ray Ray. Ray Ray's in the house. I love my island. It would never, it will never cross. Okay, not exactly. Okay, let's look at it. I love my island. It would never, it would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. It would never cross my mind to live somewhere else. Okay. Here we go. What is the sentence? This is card number two. Card number two. Uh oh, this is Miley's card. This is a long sentence. This is a long sentence. This is a long sentence. Ah, oh, Manome Island, Ireland. I don't know if I, I wouldn't, I think Ireland's too big to be an island. Or I'm, I'm not sure what, I guess an island, if it's, if it's surrounded by water, it's an island, right? If it's completely surrounded by water, then it's an island. But like, you know, Australia is surrounded by water, but we call, we say it's a continent, not an island. So I'm, I'm not sure about Ireland. Okay, this is a very long sentence. Can you do it? Can you do a little bit of it? Can you, can you do some of it? Yeah, this is a long, this is a long one, Tomas. But just see what you can do. do. Do the best you can. Can't get the whole thing, that's okay. Not because, yeah, okay, no problem, Ava. This is very long, very long. Okay, let's see, Helga. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. Helga, very good. Okay, I can't read Russian. It never crossed my mind that I would have taken Mark's class. <laughs> Good one. Good one. I can't read Russian. Okay, Sebu. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crossed my mind. Oh, Flora, that's too bad. I hope... Flora, I hope your boyfriend um, gets better soon, gets home soon. Okay, Felipe, Guatemala, como esta? Thank you for being here, Felipe. Thank you. I appreciate you being here with me, being here with everyone. That's great. Great practice for you right here in the chat. 
Okay, Umesh, in English intake time to answer. I can't just blurt. Okay, let's look at it. This is a very long sentence, so it's okay you didn't get it all. Ray Ray, in English, I take time before answering. I can't just I can't just blurt out the first. Okay, yeah, so this is very long. Let, let's look at it together. Here we go. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. In English, I take time before answering. I can't just blurt out the first thing that crosses my mind. Oh, Floor, yeah, you're late, Floor. Um, we started two hours ago. So, so tomorrow, I'll be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Japan time. So please come back tomorrow, two hours before this time. So come, come back tomorrow, two hours earlier, and then you will be here with me. Okay, here we go, card number three. What is the sentence? Ah, it's me. How are you doing, me? It's me. Welcome. Okay, this is Ava. This is Ava's sentence. Do you remember? Do you remember Ava's sentence? I think Ava had the first, I think this was the first sentence. <laughs> There's lots of vocabulary, Nada, here. Lots of vocabulary. Okay, floor says 6 p.m. in the U.S. Let me check my... I'm from Los Angeles. I live in Japan now, but I'm from Los Angeles. I'm just looking. In Los Angeles, it's 8 p.m. So, so yeah, so um, that's right. So it'll be tomorrow, 6 p.m. Um, U.S. or the West Coast. That's right. So... So tomorrow, 6 p.m., please, West Coast time. In Japan, it's 10 a.m. Japan time. Okay, here we go. Helga says, it never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Seiru, it never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Okay, Kaur. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Umesh, it never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Oh, San Jose, Flora, my university is Santa Cruz. I went to UC Santa Cruz. So I know, I know San Jose. It's over the mountain, over the hill, right? So I went to school in Santa Cruz, and so that's just over the mountain. Go up the mountain and down the mountain and you go into Santa, or San Jose, yes. Welcome, Floor. Good to see Floor in the house. Okay, let's check. Let's check the sentence. Yes, it never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. It never crossed my mind that the world would be locked down. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That was the quiz. All right, well done everyone. Um, yeah, so there, today there are long sentences, yeah, so not easy today, but very, very useful um, idiom, cross one's mind, cross my mind. So, well done. Well, you have been here over two hours with me. Oh, Mary Jimenez, or Mary Jimenez, yes, good, good to, so that's right. I'm going to be here tomorrow for the grammar wheel. So we're, tomorrow, it's a one-hour class, and we will be doing grammar. And let me show you the grammar wheel. Hold on. Some people may not know about it, but, for example, this is the grammar wheel, right? And so we have patterns, right? For example, here are some, some verb tenses, right? So we're going to, I have lots of grammar wheels, and so we will practice one of them. Maybe not this one, one of the grammar wheels, 
And so tomorrow will be um, grammar. You will be making sentences, lots of sentences tomorrow. So if you want to come and join me and join the group here, join the green team and practice in the chat, please come back tomorrow. I'm in Japan. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. Japan time, we'll be here for one hour. On Tuesdays and Fridays, we're here for two hours. On Saturday, we'll be here for one hour, 10 to 11. So I hope to see you tomorrow. And um, if you can't make it, I then have a great weekend. Today's Friday, so tomorrow's Saturday, then Sunday. So have a great weekend. Be safe, smile, uh, be kind, yeah. And I will be back on Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the 10th, but I will be here tomorrow on Saturday the 7th and then Tuesday the 10th. So um, please um, stay, stay tuned. You can stay informed. Go to my um, YouTube page, my YouTube channel page. You go to community and you can see all the um, updates and notices for for the members and non-members everything is in the community page so for times and and videos and things like that so um okay thank you so much everyone have a great weekend and let's count down to say goodbye together okay let's do it together here we go five four three two one okay thanks so much everyone I hope to see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. for the grammar roll. Okay, thanks so much. Take it easy. Bye.